Hi guys, today I have a creative journaling session for you. I have a couple of photos from just one day last year, which was just a nice day. Nothing too special. It was just like one of those nice sunny garden days. And I also went on a nice walk with Pony, so yeah. My journaling insert is getting super chunky. I'm having to be careful on what I add. And I'm also trying to fill some of the pages at the back because I obviously can't rip those out because they are attached to the pages at the front. But I am very almost finished in this journaling insert and it is held up really, really well. It's a stitched one, so I don't know if that helps in any way. But yeah, this is the insert from Crafty Alley, and I love it. I'm definitely gonna have to get some more. Because it has got so chunky, I have had to take it out of my current journal, which is this one. I've been using my Raspberry Pink Zinni Dory. This one has been a favorite from the start as soon as I got it. I have moved back into here numerous times, and yeah, I just love the colour. But Zinnia was lovely enough to send me some new ones. And these are the colours she has sent me. So I've got a really pretty yellow one and this kind of peachy orange one. So I think one of these is going to house my current insert because I think that's all it needs in there. <laughs> There's not going to be much space in there for anything else. For this video, I was going to do a giveaway with Zinnia. But unfortunately, because of the COVID-19 situation, she is based in Malaysia and their shipping has completely been stopped so she can't ship any orders out she can't send anything she said that this was one of the last packages she got sent out before they closed it so we're gonna have to postpone all of that until about August because I think that's when they have said that it will be open again but I'd love it if you guys went over to her Instagram and gave it a follow I know how much this whole situation has hit small businesses it's just really sad so if you could go over there and show her a bit of support it would be wonderful her Instagram account in general is just really nice to follow because she shares some really lovely photos I'll have links below to that and also any of her other social media if you don't have Instagram you guys know I have used and loved her Zinni Dories for years now I have quite a collection so um, I think that's probably what I'll do a video on later in the year but I still wanted to share these because she has sent them to me for free and I am going to be using one very soon to house my journaling insert. Her layout inside of her Zinni Dories is very different to anything I've seen before. She has these really really pretty pockets, they're kind of like, is it scallop? edges. I don't know if that's the correct term but yeah they have like these really pretty kind of like bumpy pockets and then at the back she has a big pocket. She also has the option to add a pen loop so one of these has a pen loop one of them doesn't. Her shop is Simple Heart and on the spine she has her logo and it also says Simple Heart inside as well. So yeah those are my new traveller's notebooks. I'll have some links down below to her shop either way in the description. Just bear in mind that she isn't shipping out orders at the moment which is really really sad but yeah, I still wanted to share it and include it in this video because I do love her shop, I love what she does, and I think you guys will enjoy it too. I'm going to get started with my creative journaling session now, so I'll speak to you again at the end of the video.
so that is where I'm finishing the page today. I've just popped my insert into my new TN just to show you what it looks like and how chunky it is. I definitely won't be putting any more inserts in here. This is going to be a one insert TN. <laughs> it's one of those things where I try not to make them too chunky because I do like to store multiple inserts in one TN but this one just kind of got bigger and bigger and I didn't notice until it was super chunky so this page has turned out kind of wonky kind of a bit mismatched. I did try and stick with the blues and the greens in the photos but then I did take the pink in Bonnie's collar in this photo and try to incorporate that somehow and then a bit of yellow and sunshine snuck in too. The colours are all a bit mismatched but I'm happy with how it's turned out. I was going through my sticker stash for ages trying to find a sticker to go here and then I found this one from Pipsticks and it just goes so perfectly with the sun colours and then this doily as well and then down here I've used a few bits of washi tape. I've used this little piece of ephemera that I got from... I think I've sent it, I'm not 100% sure. I've added this little phrase down here that says the little things are the big things and that was just cut out of a piece of ephemera and then I've added a few bumblebee and butterfly stickers over the top and added the date as well. That is how this page has turned out. I hope you enjoyed seeing it come together. If you do have any questions then let me know down below and like I said at the start I will have some links to Zinnia's shop and Instagram down below. Please go and have a look at her Instagram and give it a follow if you do have Instagram. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.